Hi guys, this is Linda Antwi. I'm here with the Red Carpet Report and we're at an amazing event for USC, Rebel with a Cause. We're raising awareness for cancer research and cancer awareness and I'm just happy to be here and be a part of it. And I look forward to talking to amazing people behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. So come on, let's go see who's here. Hi, Dr. Agus, how are I'm you? I'm great, how are you? I'm wonderful. So, a question, how did you get involved with this event and could you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure. I founded the Center for Applied Molecular Medicine at USC about two years ago. And it's a place where we can bring in all technologies to fight cancer. So we can look at DNA, we can look at protein, we can individualize treatment for the patient. So the center is proud to push things forward. Well, tonight is Rebels with a Cause, where we honor Sumner Redstone, the great media leader, and we honor Murray Gamam, one of the greatest physicists in the country, and a Nobel laureate. Both of them think differently. We've got Tony Bennett, we've got Neil Young, remarkable performers who themselves have changed things. So together, hopefully, we can make a difference and really push this field forward. In the last year, 10 years, technology has really progressed rapidly. Can you speak a little bit how that's changed your research? Oh. When a patient comes in, I can sequence the DNA of their cancer, and I can know what's wrong with their individual cancer. I could take a drop of blood and look at their whole proteome, the proteins in the blood. So treatment isn't by body part, I'm gonna treat your breast cancer, your ovarian cancer, your prostate cancer. I could treat what's wrong with the cancer. I can go to the Achilles heel and target it, and that's transformative. And, you know, I read an article recently, and there's so many things out there about what prevent, how to prevent cancer and what causes cancer. And the article I read talked about antiperspirants. Have you heard anything about that in well, yeah. causing breast cancer? Yeah. Antiperspirants have always been talked about. It could cause breast cancer. It can't. It turns out it doesn't. But anything that causes inflammation can increase your risk for cancer. What's the greatest preventive we have now for cancer death? A baby aspirin a day. So if you take a baby aspirin a day, the death rate of cancer is down 30%. So it works. We have to focus on prevention, early detection and screening, and at the same time, for the people who have it, we have to push technology. And for our viewers, how can they, is it about nutrition as well? Is it about being active? How can they really prevent themselves from, from getting this terrible disease? So there are really three key things. One is moving. It's the amount of time you move during the day. So the old notion of an hour at the gym and then sit at your desk is wrong. It's the percentage of time you move. Number two is eat good food, eat real food. Look at the ingredient list. If there are more than three or four ingredients, you probably shouldn't be eating it. Get what's fresh and have your meals on a regular schedule. And then the last is go by prevention, whether it be asking your doctor about a baby aspirin a day, whether it be about screening for breast cancer or prostate cancer, catch things early and it's not gonna cause a problem. That's wonderful information. Thank you so much. I have one more question for you. Do you know about this photo over oh, here? Can you speak on it a little bit? So, your body has inputs. The input is your DNA, it's how much you exercise, it's what you eat, and the output's how you feel. But historically, the middle has been hidden. And this is the first picture of it. This is a picture of what we call the proteome. It's all the proteins in the blood. So it's a moment in time in one individual. This is actually the cover of my book. And Steve Jobs actually helped design the picture with the book because to him, this was indicative. This was what's going on in this moment. It's exciting. What's the name of your book? It's called The End of Illness. And where can we find it? Found it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any bookstore. Wonderful. Thank you so much and have an amazing evening.